Hello, I'm Renzo Torio from Group 3, 4 Div MA of Veterinary Parasitology 412. And today I'm going to discuss the heartworm of canine. Blood parasites. Blood parasites encompass a diverse array of organisms that inhabit the circulatory system of their animal hosts. These parasites exhibit a broad spectrum ranging from single-celled protozoa to more sophisticated forms such as bacteria and rickettsia. The transmission mechanisms of these blood parasites are contingent upon the specific type of parasite in question. Frequently, their mode of transmission involves the bites of arthropod vectors, particularly ticks or flies. Materials used in the study are the following. Gloves, glass slides, cover slip, and capillary tube. Procedure Direct blood smear A direct blood smear is a type of blood test. It looks at the appearance, number, and shape of your red and white blood cells and platelets to see whether they are normal. A blood smear can also detect parasites in your blood, for example, the heartworm parasites in canine. Technique for making a blood smear Bring a spreader slide back at an angle until it touches the drop of blood. Wait until the drop flows laterally. Then, draw the spreader slide away from the drop, maintaining an angle. The blood will spread into a smooth, thin film. Wet mount. The wet mount is the simplest and most rapid of the procedures for microfilaria detection. To get started, put a single drop of anticoagulated venous blood onto a nice, clean microscope slide. Once you've done that, cover it up with a cover slip. Now take a closer look at the cover slip area using the low magnification setting on the microscope. Keep an eye out for any undulating movements of the larva. Results show a positive result of microfilaria in the heart of the canine specimen. Profiling of the specimen. Collection of blood of the specimen. Importance of the parasite and modes of transmission. Birofilariasis, sometimes known as the heartworm disease, is a dangerous and sometimes fatal disease. Birofilaria imitis, a blood-borne parasite, is the cause of it. By affecting the heart and the pulmonary arteries, which carry blood from the heart to the lungs, adult heartworms cause heartworm disease. They produce persistent inflammation, which causes scarring and constriction of the pulmonary arteries, as well as thickening or fibrosis of the lung tissues. Identifying of the Dirofilaria imitis. So Dirofilaria imitis is this slim white worm with a protective layer called a cuticle. This cuticle has three layers made of collagen and other stuff, and it's secreted by the epidermis. It's like their armor for invading animal digestive tracts. The males and females are different. The males are smaller, around 12 to 16 centimeters, with a coiled tail and a lay, which are cuticle thickenings. The female worms, on the other hand, are bigger, about 25 to 30 centimeters, and have a straight tail. Both have the basics a mouth, esophagus, anal pore, excitory pore, and nerve ring. The males have a seminal vesicle and testis while the females have an ovary and oviduct. That's the morphology of the Dirofilaria imitis. Life cycle of Dirofilaria imitis. The parasite requires the mosquito as an intermediate host before it can complete its life cycle in the dog. The mosquito is needed for the life cycle of heartworm. As many as 30 species of mosquitoes can transmit heartworms. The life cycle begins when a female mosquito bites an infected dog and ingests the microfilaria during a blood meal. The microfilaria develop further for 10 to 14 days in the mosquito's gut and then enter its mouth parts. At this stage, they are infective larvae and can complete their maturation when they enter a dog. The infective larvae enter the dog's body when the mosquito bites the dog. 
these infective larvae migrate into the bloodstream and move to the heart and adjacent blood vessels, maturing to adults, mating, and reproducing microfilaria within 6 to 7 months. Treatment and Prevention Heartworm prevention involves monthly administration of ivermectin at three times the regular dose throughout the year. Treatment includes pre-adulticide evaluation, assessing through history, physical examination, and confirmatory tests for antigen or microfilaria. The primary objective is to eliminate adult worms, which can be achieved using melarsomine hydrochloride or emeticide.